this time I got my z-axis at minus 2.9 so that should be good by the way the printer preheats really fast and you guys will see it here on the nozzle yeah it doesn't take more than like a minute and a half to two max with the bed completely cold so yeah that's a plus all right I think that's pretty good right there or at least what it looks like maybe up just a little on the bed maybe a little more so minus three exactly it looks like about right it's kind of hard to see it's all black in there but yeah that's pretty much perfect now so yeah not sure exactly what happened there but either way we are good now super nice that they have the baby steps and quite nice adjustments there oh uh, look at that it's starting to really boogie now and we do have a preview which is cool oh yeah look at that thing go it's going crazy now wow that's impressive and it's actually still pretty quiet moving that fast it's pretty incredible even more quiet now and with the lid on top it'll be very quiet so yeah it looks like it's not gonna take it more than 10 minutes to do this cube which is about four times faster than my cubes normally print so we'll see what it looks like once it's done Alright, so I printed a calibration cube and a benchy, and the benchy took 37 minutes, which is I guess 35 because by the time it warmed up and got started, that was 37 minutes. So yeah, timing is correct and quite quick. So let's take a closer look at the cube here first. So because this is a Core XY machine, the axes don't mean too much as there's not a linear x or y but yeah they work together to do a wall so yeah we can see here the x and there's a little bit of vibration there practically no ghosting very slightly but a little bit of vibration the y is actually even cleaner slight vibration but looks very nice the x wall we can see there that ringing and the y very clean the top looks great and the bottom is good too i was a little close so there's an elephant foot but yeah for 10 minute print yeah quite nice let's look at this benchy which stuck on pretty well our purge here on the side pops off really easy and the print should come right off just by flexing the build plate and pretty much is off and there we go so yeah this build material seems to work very well so yeah this is a great build platform and if you do have trouble sticking try cleaning it with alcohol the higher percentage the better or if that doesn't work use actual soap and water but it has to be clean soap not with any kind of lotions or additives and that should definitely work so yeah very easy and convenient to get this thing in and out all right so the benchy was printed very quickly so let's say 35 minutes here and yeah overall it looks great but there there is a little bit of an issue here it looks like burnt filament there and some sagging on this side so I'm not sure exactly what happened there it could be the filament maybe it was too soft or the speed maybe is a little too high for this type of filament or the temperature so yeah some adjusting need to be done but overall you guys can see for a 35 minute benchy it looks very solid and core XY will do that and this could be brought down to like 30 minutes probably without using the three walls that we did so yeah overall a good start definitely not as perfect as i would like to see but you know we need to try to use different settings i do need to up the retraction a little bit as there is a tiny bit of stringing so maybe 1.2 millimeters but i'm going to print out different speeds probably calibration cubes as they are pretty quick to print and maybe that will show us a little better print quality versus speed Alright, so we printed quite a few cubes here and also another benchy to compare and I was pretty blown away with 
how well this printer did with speed. So we're starting with 50 millimeters a second all the way to 500. So the benefits diminish as you go up in speed for time saved, but quality was sustained very well, which is interesting. And it makes sense as the core XLI mixed with the resonance shaper really put out great results. So we're gonna quickly look through each one and I'm gonna tell you the speed and the time it took to print. And this is in PLA at 0.2 layer height with lower temperatures close to 200 on the slower speeds and 220 to the 500. So because this is Core XY, obviously we're not gonna judge the actual axes. And as you guys can see at 50 millimeters a second, the walls look excellent pretty much. So what's interesting is even at 50 millimeters a second, this cube still prints out twice as fast and it's because the movement is very quick. And so that took 21 minutes to print at 50 millimeters a second and looks excellent. So next here we have 100 millimeters a second and you guys can see there's a little bit more vibrations, but still a beautiful print. Pretty much perfection. The walls here, everything looks great. And this took 12 minutes, which is practically half of the 50, which is impressive as you will be saving half the time. The next one we have here is 150. So it started to look a little bit more noticeably something going on, some vibrations, but still very clean. And we have a little bit of degradation on this corner, but overall 150 is pretty much perfect also which is incredible and this took about nine minutes so you guys can see that we're starting to save less time so the next one we have is 220 which is the one we printed already and you guys can see what it looks like we just saw it so yeah this one's not as perfect as you can see our quality is starting to diminish at 220 and this one took about nine minutes or so which i think this one here was about nine and a half or something so it's starting to get really minimal savings now if we bump that to 300 which is much faster than 200 we have this cube here and you guys can see it still looks reasonable which is great but look at our corner guys that's pretty uh rough there i didn't optimize the best settings i just kind of went with whatever and printed them out and that took seven and a half minutes to print which is pretty quick but you know again we're not saving that much time so here we have 400 millimeters a second and you guys can see that the walls are staying clean like there's nothing too weird on the walls which is quite incredible again our corners have messed up but that could just be slicing error there. But yeah, I mean, still holds very well. And this took seven minutes to print. And our last one here is 500. And you guys can see it looks pretty much the same as the last one. Wall even looks pretty much similar. So yeah, it's pretty much maxed out at this point. And this also took like seven minutes. So yeah, it was way too close to the 400. So you can really tell that the machine was maxed out completely at those kind of speeds. Now what's great is the 3D printer had no issues and it was actually being pretty composed with its quick speeds. And even though I wouldn't recommend printing at that kind of speed, it's obviously possible as you can see and the results are pretty nice. You do have to bump up the nozzle temperature as you go higher to keep that filament hot enough to stick between layers and also have a good flow. But you know, depending on what you're printing, this could be quite useful and incredible compared to printing on a regular 3D printer. Now looking at all the cubes, I kind of came to a conclusion that for the amount of time you save, somewhere in the 80 millimeters to about 120, 50 is the best range for quality versus speed. And the reason for that is because the printer already makes really quick moves, you're already saving a lot of time there. Even printing this calibration cube at 50, we still saved half the time almost as we would printing on a regular printer as it doesn't move as fast. So you can see that you get benefits immediately with the printer like this, even printing at the same speeds that you're used to. Now I do have another bench here that I printed as our first one, kind of turned out a little rough. So I printed this one at 120 millimeters a second, which only took a little longer than this one at 40 minutes or 41 minutes, something like that, a few minutes more. And you guys can see the quality is much, much better. So yeah, I would definitely not recommend, you know, full forcing the printer, but just kind of adjusted to what is acceptable to you. Print quality versus the time you want to take to print something. And obviously materials will differ how quick you can print and things like that. But as far as PLA goes here, it does very well at high speeds.